uh, I think the key was us being cocky as hell. Um, <laughs> you know, we we knew we were good and we started off real bad. Um, I think we were actually like four and six or something like that. Um, you know, like I said, we got our butts kicked by UTA, a team that should never beat us. And we kind of had a team meeting the next day, players only, and pretty much everyone aired each other out. Uh, I think I remember that very clearly. And basically saying, "What are we doing? You know, we're we're too good. A, we're too good a team to be to be losing these games." And next thing you know, we were what twenty four wins down the road without a loss. So we, you know, we kind of just took it on ourselves to realize we were way better than what we were playing. Yeah. Uh, well, what Ludy we just- started calling good pitches. <laughs> <laughs> And hit exactly. over. Yeah, basically, basically that whole season comes back to UTA just kicking the absolute crap out of us on a Tuesday night. Right, right. Because yeah. I was mean, the beginning. After, after that, you don't lose the ninth or something like that. Luke Blue. Yeah, yeah. Which I was actually going back and reading some of my stories from back then, and in one of them, I listed you Creighton as the resident Beaver expert. <laughs> <laughs> which i don't know why but uh i think right. i made a t-shirt i think i made a t-shirt but i think muncie muncie didn't you see the beaver in the parking lot no i thought it was uh i thought it was oh, joey yeah. and someone else they they saw it after we got we got our uh uh I'll, I'll watch my language here after we got our butts kicked by uta um mm-hmm. we had that long drive back from arlington and we got off the bus after uh, smitty yelled at us for like 30 minutes and there's, there's just a, a beaver walking around. And was it uh, Mahalik that that came up with uh, feed the beaver? Does anybody could, remember? Could have been. Yeah, yeah. I think so. After Muncie hit a home yeah. run, somebody pretty, hit a home, pretty somebody hit a home run that next. Yeah, year. I think it was Muncie hit a home run. Yeah, yeah, yeah Muncie hit a home beaver. run. Yeah. I'm pretty positive it was Miles Landry's goofy ass. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> Miles Landry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, Kansas State was one for sure. Ludy had like 30 home runs in two games. <laughs> <laughs> one, of, one, of, one of my most memorable ones was AM. Yeah. AM, yeah. yeah A&M, A&M was two, and I think we were six at the time. I don't know. I don't know how many wins we had before we went into that series, but I knew that was a huge series. And that was the last uh, of the stretch, I believe. That yeah, was it, the was. it was. I yeah. think uh was yeah. it New Mexico State or New Mexico, the last team we played? And then we lost the Oklahoma. Series, I totally not get into it on the mound. Yeah, it was like New Mexico. We, New lost, Mexico. <laughs> we lost. It was UTSA that ended our streak. Oh, yeah, it was at, at UTSA. <laughs> and then Oklahoma swept this. Yeah, yeah. So that was after finals, though. It didn't count. <laughs> uh, so it started with, eight, uh, with uh, Tech. Yeah. Y'all swept Tech to start the Big 12. And then you beat Sam Houston, Kansas, Houston, Oklahoma State, Missouri, ULM, K State, which Max mentioned, A and M, Corpus Christi, and and uh, the Aggies. So not too shabby. Um, Big Twelve champs. I mean, uh, that was fun too. Um, you know, h- how did y'all kind of celebrate? Didn't we find out on an off day? That you were Big 12 champs? Yeah. I thought we cemented it that uh, that first game against Texas. Yeah. I, think that would have been, I can't remember. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember I think, that far back. I, I think Bremer – uh, What was it, the grape juice of the field on an off day? Yeah, Bremer brought it in. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly think it surprised everybody, Mm. you know, because I think probably Texas, A&M, there were several others. I think we're probably picked to be middle of the pack that year in the Big 12. Um, And maybe that just kind of fueled the fire as well because we knew we were better than that. We knew that we were, as Muncie said, you know, we weren't playing up to our standards and we saw what kind of fall we had. So I don't know. I think it's just one to live up to our expectations rather than everybody else's. Yeah. And it seemed like all of you guys, I mean, everybody was having like a career year that year, it felt like. Uh, for the rest of you guys, talk about Ludie and what he did that season. I mean, he just was 
you know, ripping the cover off the ball. He was just a machine. I remember that home run at Texas. That thing was just an absolute bomb. That's just unforgettable. Anybody remember the AB before that? That was my question. What happened that? Uh, what happened that? Asked me to bunt. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't go well. <laughs> I think I like popped it up to first or something. It was not good. So yeah, Smitty, button, Smitty but... called for a bunt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a close game at that point still. Okay. I, uh, right. I absolutely didn't get it done. It was madder than heck about it. <laughs> Ludie's, Ludie's home run in Texas. And then there was a – I don't know, that game stood out for me personally. But uh, I remember Jake Miller making a play up the middle. <laughs> and then I think the, the obvious was like the streak. But the I think the biggest thing about the streak that um, – for me, is I had to pitch behind Turley, and Turley just kept going back out there and putting up Ws. So there <laughs> always felt like a, a little weight on my back, but also got more comfortable as as we just packed on the wins. So how about how about Trent switching from traditional to side on that? First I was about game? to say this is the side arm. <laughs> <here. laughs> who, who goes from traditional to side arm and freaking shoves the whole year and? wins 11 games i think it was it was five off speed pitches a game <laughs> it's crazy hey that, that was when the bats changed we were i was in a good spot uh, there wasn't a, there wasn't a lot of side armors out there <laughs> Especially that's, starters. Right. that's right we, we had the best staff with no one throwing over 90 it was unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and for the most part, it made my job pretty easy. The, uh, I mean, those guys didn't miss much. So, I made everything a heck of a lot easier throughout that year. The, uh, and you get Creighton coming in out of the pen with that little cutter or slider. He didn't know what the heck it was going to be some days. And <laughs> I think that was about the toughest one to deal with. Yeah. But other than that, man, I mean, you get in the Pro Bowl and guys start throwing 100 mile an hour and you don't know where it's going half the time. It's a little different. But the uh, these guys made it pretty easy on me. Ludie behind – Ludie, I remember one game – uh, I think it was at Oklahoma, and I was kind of having a bad outing. And you came out to the mound, and they were heckling the dog crap out of you. <laughs> and you just you just walked up real casually, like, I guess they like me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what I needed. That was uh, that was the lady that kept yelling, "I look short in those pants." And I'm like, "Ma'am, I look short in anything." <laughs> that was actually the same place where the, that fan spit at my wife. So oh, I've made a lot for those guys. <laughs> yeah, they were classy. Yeah, I guess when you're winning games, you're not making friends with the other teams. So, I think that was the uh, that was the series we had the doubleheader after that rain delay, wasn't it? Yeah, Oma. Yeah, because I think that like doubleheader game, I went over seven with five punch outs and hitting two double plays or something like that. <laughs> Couldn't get me away from that place fast enough. For some reason, Oklahoma was our kryptonite that year. Mm. Yeah, we got uh, we got ro- smashed. Over, oh, what oh and five against Oklahoma? Oh, oh, yeah. We, we, we started a season, what, what did Charlie say, like middle of the pack and unranked, and weren't we number one for like a weekend? We, we were number one, and then we lost to UTSA that Tuesday, I think. Oh, yeah, that <laughs> was the confidence. It. <laughs> it was very short. Really? We, we were there. Oh. We had, we had it. That was our peak. We did travel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, um, I'd say one of my most memorable games that I think of the most often, actually it wasn't a game. It was the weekend series at K state, um, that weekend, I think Ludie hit five jacks. That's one thing I remember. <laughs> um, and we had some hecklers down the left field line and some guys up in the suite. I think we had a couple of rain delays or weather delays and they, kept, they, kept, they kept chirping us. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, that was my one of my most fun weekends that I remember that year. We, we, we were behind in one of those games by a ton. Um, yeah. Didn't, but, didn't uh, Cal on the freaking indoor facility yeah. there? On top of the <laughs> Yeah. <floor? laughs> yeah. <laughs> Him and his uh, catcher buddy from there. Oh, that was the sweetest picture ever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what about what, – what, was that the year that Austin Stone, like, just came out of nowhere and threw a lights-out game for us? That was regional. against DBU in the in the regional. Yeah, yeah that was in the regional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shoved it off like the field in his hat like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> he made the all regional team. He did. Uh, that was that was, big, that was big time. Good stuff. It's it's funny, Good like stuff. all the moments that are popping up in my head are just like Logan Vic diving the outfield for a ton of balls. I don't know about that year. I remember him making a couple of catches in the Rice Regional the year yeah, before. That's what I was just thinking of too. Two of them in the same game against Cal. Yeah. I mean, I know he made a ton of catches, but the the ones at the Rice Regional probably stick out the most. Yeah, those were some good ones. Uh, uh, and, yeah, what was it TCU? Was it TCU? You took one from uh, over the fence. I think it was that. That one stuck out pretty good. Yeah, TCU. Dude, was it? That, that one was Coats. incredible. That one was incredible. At the time, I remember saying it was the best catch I'd ever seen, but. Uh, did you always feel like you were going to get he, it? He always took off like Superman. I mean, he was like three, four <laughs> feet. Like, <laughs> bam. <laughs> uh, I couldn't even tell you. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know if it's in double digits. Um, you know, maybe seven or eight games we've, we've went on a stretch. But, yeah, I mean, it's pretty hard to – to consistently just win game after game because, you know, you're going to have off nights or, uh, you know, someone on the other team is going to, you know, have a really good arm day or or maybe you're facing, you know, a, a, a DeGrom or a Scherzer and, you know, they just kind of shove, shove it and there's not much you can do about that. So it's just, uh, you know, it was the same it was the same in the Big 12. You know, you face Texas. They had guys that were getting in the first round or, you, you know, you face A&M and, uh, you know, was it two of the pitchers they had are actually still pitching in the big leagues right now, I think. So, you know, okay. Uh, that's what was so amazing is we're facing these guys that it's not like we were facing nobodies, you know, we were facing big teams and they just kind of, uh, you know, we just kept finding a way to win. We just knew what we were doing. We knew how to win. We didn't know how to lose. That was the biggest thing. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to speak of those times. <laughs> The statute of limitations I, is up. I, I clicked the thing that said uh, this meeting is recording when I when I joined it. That's so. true. That's true. <laughs> we got it all out for that. <laughs> There'll be some editing. <laughs> we we Trent, had fun on and off the field. Yeah, we did. We did. It wasn't the, the part. Yeah, I mean, we after the games, we we still hung out. Like, it wasn't like we it stopped, you know, like once we left the field. So I do think that is a part of it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's what was unique about us. It was we were, we were a group on the field, and then we were a group off the field, just like Trent said. There's no separation or nobody went there different ways. It was we were just – we were a team, and we did, did everything together, basically. 